I'm Ryan from Spike, and I'm here to show you how to use the solar control panel. To use your panel, let's start by turning your panel on. An auto-tune must be done before your first brew day to calibrate the panel for your specific setup. This only needs to be performed once. To do this, fill your kettle 75% full of water. We will set the temperature of the water to 150 degrees by pressing the up arrow button until our set value reads 150. Then, press the set button to lock in the temperature. Lastly, turn your element switch to on to begin heating the water. Once your water temperature reaches 150 degrees, we're ready to start the auto-tune. Press the set button and the left arrow button at the same time. The screen should read, pass. Press the up arrow button three times the left arrow button once, and then the up arrow button three times to show 0033 on screen. Then, press the set button. This will bring up F00 on screen. Press the up arrow button two times to change to F02, and then hit set. Lastly, press the up arrow to change to yes on the AT screen, and then press the set button. Press the set button and the left arrow button at the same time to start the auto-tune process. Auto-tuning can take up to an hour as the PID calibrates. During the auto-tune process, ATU will blink in the bottom left corner of the PID. You know your auto-tune is complete when the blinking stops. Another important aspect of your solo controller is the percentage output used during boiling. This allows you to set the perfect rolling boil. To move your PID to manual mode, start on the preset value, set value screen. To move to manual mode, press the set button one time. This will bring up AMRS on screen. Click the up arrow button to change from auto to manual and press the set button three times to bring up the manual screen and set the percentage. To start your boil, we recommend 100%. Flip the heating element switch to on to start heating. Once you have a rolling boil, you can turn the percentage down to your liking. Hey, I hope that helped, and if you need any more assistance, please feel free to reach out. We'd be more than happy to help.